Good morning, good morning, good morning, citizens. Welcome to Kingdom Living Prayer and Devotion this morning. It is November the 1st. It is 11 11 2022. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope y'all had a great night's sleep. We are up this morning being about our Father's business. Come giving Him praise, glory, and honor. Um, y'all, I hope y'all have a great day. An uh, awesome day. We're going to declare that you're going to have a great day, a productive day, and a great God, day in God. So we come, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, giving you praise, glory, and honor on this morning, Lord God. Lord, we glorify your holy name for who you are, Lord God. For you are the God of gods and the Lord of lords, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for salvation. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for guidance this morning, Lord God. We come, Lord God, repenting of our sins, O oh Lord God, and we come taking up forgiveness for which you have have given us through our son, Lord, through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Y'all, we come this morning. Listen, in Jesus' name, do I pray? Okay, this morning, uh, I think it was uh, Saturday. I dropped the word Saturday, but I got dinged on social media, so I didn't. Get to, I had to erase it. I had to delete it. So anyway, we're gonna redo that word. The word I put out Saturday was we gonna eat, but we're gonna read. Um, we go, we got another word, okay? So this is we're gonna start in John six. We're gonna start in John six and five. And this is the um the backdrop is this is when Jesus feeds the five thousand. And they only they didn't have enough food, okay, to feed the multitudes that had come to um that come to um that had came to Jesus and followed Jesus over to Galilee. So it says, um when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered, Two hundred pennies of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, one of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here with about um, five barleys and two small fishes but what are they among so many and Jesus said make the men sit down sit down now there was much grass in this place that it says so the men sat down in numbers about five thousand and Jesus took the loaves and when he gave when he had given th thanks he distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were sit down and likewise of the fish as much as they would when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together, and filled twelve baskets of fragments of the five barley of breads, a barley of loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. The word today is, God is about to bless us above above more than what we can even ask. Okay, this in this scripture it, it talks about a multitude of people coming in. They only had two. Let me see what they have. They had two loaf. They had five barley of bread and two small fishes, and God fed fed five thousand. Another word that comes forth out of this scripture is with God. There with God you always have enough. With Jesus, you always have more than enough. Regardless of what the situation or the circumstance may look like, you always have more than enough with Jesus. Understand that. And not only that, once Jesus got through feeding everybody with five barleys of bread and two fishes, they still had to pick up the fragments. God said, let nothing be lost. Pick up everything you have. Get every crumb, every nook, every cranny. Okay? Jesus said, get all the leftovers. And when they gather up all the leftovers, the word simply says, Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. So after they had gathered up all the food, they, they, they filled up twelve baskets of barley bread. Okay, they only started off with five. They end up gathering twelve baskets. They end up with five barleys of loaf bread, and they filled five baskets. The word today is, God is about to bless us beyond more than what we even know. The word says, um, 
they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of five barley breads, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. God is about to bless us over and above. The Bible says... Um, that the God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. So on this morning, Lord God, we come thanking you this morning, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing us with more than we, we more than what we can receive. We thank you for the overflow, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. We come giving you glory and honor this morning, Lord God. For your word says that you will, will you will bless us with more than enough, more than what we even started with. Your word says, don't despise small beginnings, O oh Lord God. So today, O oh Lord God, we thank you for being a mighty God, an awesome God, that can take a little, Lord God, and make it big, O oh Lord God. Your word says, be faithful to the little, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you this morning for your word. I thank you, Lord God, for your word that says, be faithful to the little. You would take something that's small, Lord God, and make it big. Lord God, be faithful for the little. That's the word this morning. Be faithful for the little. For God can bless that that is small. As I pray right now, Lord God, hallelujah, hallelujah. I think of the woman with the widow's, with the widow's might. The widow's, the button that she gave for an offering because she had nothing more to give, oh Lord God. And God, your word says that you, that she gave more than everybody that we had given because that was all that she had, Lord God. God, thank you for blessing the little. Thank you for blessing the little, Lord God. Thank you for the increase, Lord God. Thank you for the increase this morning, oh Lord God. God, we thank you this morning, Lord God. I pray over every ear, every eye that is listening and viewing this video, Lord God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for who you are. I cover every eye, every ear with the blood of Jesus Christ. I rebuke any demonic spirit that tried to hinder this prayer from going forth, oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every demonic spirit, every power, every principality, Lord God, that hinders this word, that tries to hinder this word from going forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for your word. In Jesus' mighty name do I pray, Lord God. I come, Lord God, ask that you continue to forgive us of our sins as we rebuke I mean, as we, we we repent of our sins, as we repent of our sins and run towards your heavenly throne this morning, Lord God. God, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name do I pray. Listen, for those of us who have, who think that little is not enough, God says, be faithful to the little. And then if you're faithful to what's little, then when I bless you with more than enough, I know I can trust you. God will bless the small and turn it to something big. Like I said, I can remember the story of the widow's mite, the woman that comes to give the offering, and all she had was a wooden button. And God says she had given more than everybody else had given. And it was a lot of people giving a lot of money. And, you know what I'm saying? And she gave that. That's all she had. But the reason why it was so much because it was all she had. It was a small amount of nothing. It really had no value. But she gave because it was all she had. Be faithful over the little this morning. This scripture, um, this scripture in John 6, 5 through 12. 5 through 13 talks about how God took something, took a small amount and fed 5,000. He has the ability to enlarge or to increase anything that he chooses to increase. He's a, he's a miracle worker. He's a way maker. Okay? So this morning, understand that God can take the little and turn it into something big. He can take the he can take the small and make it large. He's the God of the increase this morning. Remember that regardless of how small you have or what little you have, if you turn it over into Jesus' hands, he will make it more than you ever had. <laughs> the Bible says they had the remains that they had was over and above more than they had only more than they had even e eaten. And he started out with five loaves and two fishes. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, if God hasn't told I me, mean, if someone hasn't told you, understand that God loves you, that I love you with the love of Christ, but Jesus Christ loves you more. I'll see y'all tomorrow, and I pray and hope that this word has blessed someone. In the mighty name of Jesus, i see y'all in the morning. Bye.